always had logs in the equation. All right? So if I gave you this three weeks ago, two weeks ago, you would have to do chain, quotient, product. It would be a nightmare. It would be really big. Okay? There's no logs in it. But if it's y equals a bunch of stuff, if it's an equation, you can just log both sides, just like we did in grade in math 12. All right? So if you don't want to use chain rule, quotient rule, all that kind of stuff, we can just log both sides, the natural log of both sides. So if we go the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of all this stuff. <clears throat> we can then break up the right-hand side just like we've been doing. So I'm going to get 2 natural log x minus 2 minus 3 natural log of x minus 1 half natural log x squared plus 1. Does everybody understand what I just did? I did it in one step. I broke up the right-hand side and dropped the exponents down. Are we good with that? Okay, now we can do the derivative because now it's a lot easier. So you got to do the derivative of both sides, though. So natural log of y. What's the derivative of the natural log of y? Hmm? 1 over y times the derivative of y, which is y primed, right? So it's going to be y primed over y. Because remember, the derivative of the natural log of u is u primed over u. So I get y primed over y is equal to, and then you do the derivative of all this stuff, 2 over x minus 2, 3 over x, with the 2x up top. <clears throat> And then these twos would cancel. So I get that. But is that my answer? What am I trying to solve for? Y prime. I got Y primed over Y. So I got to multiply the Y up. Don't multiply it in. Just multiply it up. <clears throat> now that's still not quite the answer. What's y equal to? That thing. So all you have to do, I'm not asking you to simplify it, is you just have to put that in front. So you get y primed is equal to, instead of writing y, we write the original equation. x minus 2 squared over x cubed. plus 1 times all this stuff. And that's your answer. You can leave it like that. I mean, if you want to, you can make a common denominator and start putting it all together, but I won't ask you to do that on a test. <clears throat> so when you do logarithmic, which means you're logging both sides, you just have to remember the derivative of y is y prime over y. This y gets multiplied up, and that is the original equation. So the original function is sitting out there. Okay? And then you can just leave it like that.
that's still faster than doing product chain quotient because that's going to blow up massively. Okay, so logarithmic means just log each side. You can do it for every single question if you really want to. But it only really makes sense and helps you out if it's a complicated thing like this. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to give you three questions to do, and then we'll move on to exponential. 226, 89, 91, and 93, please. And then